Hi everyone, this video is a guide on how to set up American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2 for virtual reality with the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift. The setup is the same for both games, in fact you can even copy over the config files that I'm going to talk about in this video. For the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift, there are a couple differences, but it's mostly the same. So to play either of these games in VR, you have to run them through Steam, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Steam and open up your library. Keep in mind that these games are not listed as official VR games, so you won't find them under the VR category in your library. Select the game you want, right click it, click properties, and then click the betas tab, and this is where you can select the VR beta. So as of filming this video, the most recent beta for ETS2 is Oculus Slash 5 1.6 SDK 1.4. Just choose whichever one has the highest number, whichever the most recent one is that has the name of your device in the title. And then you have to go back to the general tab and you have to click set launch options. Now this is where it diverges for the Vive and the Rift. If you're on the Vive, type dash open VR like you see on the screen right now. If you're on the Rift, type dash Oculus and then click OK. I'm running it on the Vive so I will stick with dash open VR. And then you can close your Truck Simulator 2 properties or American Truck Simulator 2. It's the exact same for both of them. And then you can la actually launch these games in VR. So the first time you launch the game, I'm going to go into American Truck Simulator right now because I already have it running. Uh, the first time you launch the game, it might not show up in the VR HMD display. You might just see like the Steam VR background. If that's the case, that means that the menus are being displayed on the monitor and not the HMD. Press F11 and then the menus will switch to the HMD instead of the monitor and you'll, just, you'll see a black screen on the monitor. Your Truck Sim and American Truck Simulator do something pretty unique for VR games in that they don't, they choose not to display a VR preview on your computer, you just see a black screen unless you press F11 and you can see the menus on the screen. So you can choose which one you want. Either way, you're going to have to use the mouse when you're in the menus. So just keep that in mind if you get confused when you're launching it and you don't see it running in your headset. But there are several other tweaks that you can do to make the game run smoother and look better in VR. First, let's just look at the graphics. So, graphic settings, I mean, it really depends on your computer. But if you have a pretty good gaming computer that can run uh, high-end VR games, then you're probably just going to want to go to... First, you go to Simple Settings, and you just click Ultra, set everything to the Ultra settings. But then, turn your scaling down to 100%. You want that to stay at 100% for VR. Turn off... MLAA aliasing and turn off depth of field. Both of those effects aren't great for VR, but you can leave everything else as it was before. So basically just have it set up how I have here. And if you want, I guess you can't put those any higher. This makes everything, all the sliders here as high as possible, but you can still run it in VR with these settings on. So the important thing is just to put the scaling at 100 and to turn off uh, MLAA and, and depth of field. So those are the graphic settings, and those are all the settings that you can do without going into the config files and tweaking them, which is what we're going to look at next. So the folder where you can find all of the ATS and ETS config files is just the documents folder by default, which is under your main PC directory on Windows, and then you click American Truck Simulator or your Truck Simulator 2. And there's a file in here called config.cfg. Right click it, click open with, and open it up with notepad. Now the VR related options are here. They say open VR or they might say Oculus if you're on the Rift. So set these both to zero. This one is independent time warp and this one is interleaved reproject. These are both um, versions of these technologies that were made by SCS, the company behind uh, American Truck Simulator and Eurotruck Simulator. I'm sure they work well, but 
the thing is, um, the Vive and the Rift at this point both have their own solutions to um, reprojection and stuff built into the headsets. So you want to set these to zero, and then if you're using a Rift, you're taken care of, and if you're using a Vive, you want to set up the Steam VR beta so you can use a synchronous reprojection with the Vive, and it'll work really well with this game. And I will go into that at the end of the video, but there's more stuff to configure in this file. The other setting that you want to look at is this one. You set our manual stereo buffer scale, and I will throw these into the description as well if you're looking for a string to copy and paste, you can find it in the description. It's going to start out at 1.0, and um, I'm running at 1080, I put it to 1.5, I can play the game just fine without reprojection, but you, based on your computer specs, you're going to want to increase this in increments of 1, so 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, etc. Or 1.5, you know, start out with maybe 1.5 and see how it runs. Uh, and then increase or decrease it based off if you're getting reprojection or not. And that will really increase your graphics. Um, that's why you leave the scaling off in the graphics menu in-game, because this option here is a lot better for VR, increasing the graphics. And those are the three options that you should really be concerned with in this config file. Of course, if anyone out there knows of any other options that you should be configuring for better VR performance and graphics, then please leave a comment. Um, but there's one other thing that you want to configure. Now, now you have all the graphics and uh, performance set up. By default, the button for reset HMD orientation in-game is F12, and you can't rebind it in-game. You can't use an in-game menu to rebind it, but you can rebind it, and to do that, Go to the Profiles menu, click on whatever random text is here, which is going to be your profile that you have saved, and open the file controls.sii. Once again, do open with Notepad. And this has all the key bindings in here. So there is a binding in here. I think it's called Head Reset. Yeah. So Head Reset is Reset HMD Orientation. And I set mine to just one of the buttons on my force feedback wheel and to find the syntax of the button that you want to use it's not always going to be obvious like this one so you're going to want to go into game into the game set go into the key bindings and set a button as one of these uh keys so just a random key um, but some basic functions so you know how to find it in the key bindings. And then uh, you go into this key binding file and you find that function that you set and then it will have the syntax for the key that you put there and you can just copy, I know this isn't the right one, you can copy and then find the head reset function and throw it in there if I wanted it to be joy x. And that is the syntax you keep the the key in between the um, what are these things called? They're like the single quotation marks. I don't know. I should know, but I don't. Um, so yeah, you can just copy paste that in there, save the file, and then you will have a properly customized reset H and B orientation button. So you can you know bind it to a button on your controller or whatever you want to do. So once you have all that set up the game is pretty much set to run in VR. The last thing you want to consider doing when uh, setting this up for VR is enabling the Steam VR beta if you have a Vive so you can turn on asynchronous reprojection. And you might have already done this. So go into the VR or the tools menu, click on Steam VR, right click, click properties. Just like with setting up American Chuck Simulator, Euro Chuck Simulator, click the betas tab and select SteamVR beta update. That's all you need to do. Click close, download the update, and then you can open the settings within SteamVR and go to performance and select allow asynchronous reprojection. Make sure interleave reprojection is not selected and make sure always on reprojection is not selected. 
Uh, asynchronous reprojection is just a great reprojection method for seated games. It can let you run really high graphics that might dip you into reprojection occasionally, which, by the way, reprojection is um, when you dip below 90 FPS and then the game starts displaying 45 FPS mirrored as two frames to try and trick you into thinking it's 90 FPS. I don't know exactly what the difference is between asynchronous reprojection and regular re reprojection, but I know that asynchronous reprojection looks a lot better and it's a lot harder to notice, so you won't notice when you're dropping below 90 FPS because asynchronous reprojection will cover it for you. So it's a good option to have on. And uh, that's about all you need to get American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator set up for virtual reality. So um, yeah, get out there, hit the roads, and start slanging some cargo. And thanks for watching this video. Check out my channel if you want to see more virtual reality content. I have videos about both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator and my experiences with them. They're great VR games. I highly recommend them. Definitely the most immersive VR games that I've played, and I've played a lot of VR, so I uh, definitely give high props to these games. So thank you again for watching this video. Have a great day, and goodbye. Hi everyone, welcome to American Truck Simulator. So this is my stylishly painted Kenworth Big Rig, and I am in the beautiful state of California.